Washington's decision to brand a leading rebel group in Syria as a terrorist organization sparks a chorus of outrage among others who enjoy America's overwhelming support. The key rebel coalition, recognized by the U.S. as the sole representative of the Syrian people, has thrown its way behind the al-Qaeda-linked al-Nusra front. RT's Guyana Shijikan explains. It's clear that Washington is trying to distance itself from extremists in Syria. They have designated the al-Nusra Front a terrorist organization. It's thought to be one of the most aggressive and ruthless groups currently involved in the conflict. Washington's decision to call them terrorists is seen as more of a symbolic move because many other fighters in Syria, possibly most of them, welcome the efforts of those designated terrorists efforts that include suicide bombings and killing of prisoners. In fact, the leader of the very Syrian opposition coalition, which the U.S. has just formally recognized and is supportive of, came out and asked the U.S. to reconsider their decision on al-Nusra because they've been so helpful in the fight against Assad. But the decision to formally recognize the Syrian opposition coalition will pave the way for more support for these rebels. And they're asking for weapons, uh, uh, for a lot of weapons, including heavy artillery. And the latest from Damascus is that this Wednesday, an explosion targeted the Syrian interior ministry. Uh, we don't know whether it was the al-Nusra front or another rebel organization behind it. We do know that it was a massive explosion uh, rather, th three explosions, rather. Uh, there have been many blasts like that in the past, mostly suicide bombings. Washington is accusing Damascus of using weapons banned for use in populated areas in its fight against the rebels. This adds to further allegations that SCUD missiles have been fired and warnings that chemical arms will be the next step. Jacob Hornberger, founder and president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, says the U.S. is deliberately demonizing the Syrian government. We've heard this stuff before about, you know, uh, Saddam Hussein's WMDs, and he was going to unleash them on the U.S. and mushroom clouds over American cities, and it was entirely bogus. It was, an, it was a way to get the American people to support the invasion and occupation of the country. And that's what all of this interventionism is all about, to install their dictators into power. Look, look how the U.S. empire is not complaining about the dictatorship in Bahrain. I mean, there you've got a, a military, U.S. military base, so they got to stay quiet about that tyranny. And uh, you see uh, what went on in Egypt, uh, you see in Saudi Arabia. I mean, the U.S. has long supported dictatorship. Saddam Hussein was one of the ones they supported. And so this is about regime change in the hopes of installing a pro-U.S. Pro regime. But as we've learned, things don't come out as, as they often uh, plan them to be.